Hi, everyone. Welcome to the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. My name is Margherita Getti. I am the Next Wave programmer here at JFI. Thanks for joining us. We hope you've been enjoying the films and conversations we have curated for this summer festival. Now we have a chance to hear a bit from Mano Khalil, as you can see here with us today, who directed Neighbors, the film we have just watched. Hi, uh, Mano, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank uh, all of you. I'm really honored and happy to, to be there. Not to be there, I am not happy. Of course, <laughs> I had to. I have to meet the audiences. We make movie to, to to share it with people, to meet the people, to talk to them, to discuss things together. But unfortunately, now for this pandemic, what what we have, um, there are sometimes rules that they are stronger than yeah. what we think, what we plan. And but I hope that the movie with with its uh, with its um, humanistic uh, voice brought something to the audiences that the people understand what is happening in this Middle East since 70 years, more than 70 years. Uh, what's the problem in this region, which is the part of the problem of all, all the world, I think. It's not only the problem of the Middle East. I'm really happy to be with you. Thank you a lot. And um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mano. You're, you're right. It's, it's sad in a way that we can't be together in the same space, but um, we're also very happy to have you here uh, from you know, different corners of, of the world. And um, yeah, we loved, we loved your film. I'm, I'm really curious to, to hear more about it and I'm sure our audience feels the same way. Um, you made an amazing film and brought to life uh, fantastic, very heartfelt and, and realistic characters and um, it's a wonderful and very intense viewing experience. Um, and I feel like we both as viewers are put in a position in which we learn a lot about the geography and the politics that you're showing, but also we feel a lot for, for Cero and, and his family and, and friends. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a bit about uh, your film Neighbors. Um, I know it's a Swiss production and your Swiss, part Swiss and, and part <clears throat> Kurdish, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And so yeah. there, are, there, there seems to be bits of your story in it. So I'm, I'm curious if you could tell us a bit about if there's a biographical aspect and, or how you got in touch with the idea for the film. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's very easy to talk about it. Um, um, as you mentioned, I'm a Kurd. Uh, I was uh, born in Syria. My mother is coming from Kurdistan, uh, Turkey. As you know, Kurdistan is uh, divided between four countries and uh, I was born in Syrian part. Um, I studied in Syria until the university. I studied law and, and um, history in Damascus University, but uh, it was the 80s. I wanted to study film. I wanted to make something with movie to, with the storytelling. So this, you know, this, I, I, was, I was just, just really loving to go to the cinema and 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 watch this uh, this real imagination world, you know, there which was bringing sometimes hopes and and flying, you know, and and just 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 expressing expressing your your humanistic <laughs> your human way in in, in this ima imaginary world. I, I, I movie was fascinating me. From that time, and then 1986, I went to Czechoslovakia, former Czechoslovakia. That was a communist country that time, and I studied film direction. I studied there. Really, it was long time, six years. I studied. I learned Czechoslovakian language. Then I was working in Czechoslovakian television, later in Slovak television, and I went back to my country, Kurdistan, Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, my dream was making movie and conquer Cannes, uh, Venice, and 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 you know and make big movies and and that, that's what uh, that time. But when I came to Syria, that was the reality, and the dreams um, was not the same. Um, I was forced to to again to live uh, somehow under this um, brutal fascistic regime, um, which they get there their ideology from, from the National Socialist in, in, in Second World War in Germany, 
Ba'ath party, I mean, in Syria and Iraq, which they, they don't respect anybody else who is not Arab, who is not believing in this nationalistic ideology of Ba'ath party. And unfortunately, I made only one movie in Syria called uh, The Place Where God Sleeps. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was prisoned for a short time. And then I had to, to flee Syria and go to Switzerland, where I am living now. And I, am, I have my pro own production, uh, film production company producing movies for television and for cinema, for theaters. I made more than 16 films, 17 movies, documentary and fiction movie. And the story of neighbors actually was born when I was studying in Czechoslovakia. It's a part of my own life my, my, as, as a child in Syria, because you see the movie and you see the scenes when the families was meeting on the border between Syria and Turkey. Mm. The small yeah. shero was Mano, you know, I was, I, I, I remember first time when I met my uncles on the border, exactly through the, the barbed wires, we were kissing on each other. Mm. And it's it's working until now, unfortunately. Mm. Um, and this story of this small child, Shero, it's it's from the most part. It's my life, how I was living, how I was tra was treating in this in this country, in the school, where the teacher was not a teacher teaching us to know the the world, to 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 you know they were educating us to hate the mm -hmm. others to hate who is not belonging to this to this part of people religiously or or, or culturally or or you know and uh, and i was i was just tell you the truth i i met the script and i was just uh, how they say making it's actual all the time i was something new is coming in the middle east i was just changing the story right. somehow and um, I wanted to make the movie before, before years, but that was very difficult, you know, to be in a, a, a country as, let's say, as the refugee and to have millions to make a movie wasn't very easy. You had to establish yourself. You have to make money, money, cheap movies, documentary. You have to do, to do things to show the other people in this country, I mean, Switzerland, mm -hmm. um, that you are not only a number, coming to them, you are a human being, you have your own story, uh, and you can make movie too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then uh, when, when I, 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 I was in the, in the position to, to, to ask for this money, to ask the co-producer from RT or Swiss, uh, Swiss television, which they already co-produced many other films, you know, which, uh, by the way, and uh, this was second problem, the, se the, the first problem. The second problem was to find a place where I can shoot my movie. I didn't want, to, for example, to shoot the movie in Greece. Mm. Really, I wanted to shoot the movie in Syria or in the border with Syria, something similar like Syria, there where I was living. And this time was very nice to make it in Iraqi Kurdistan, which we rebuilt somehow a small village okay. and put these things you know, to, 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 to make it um, looking like 80s in mm. Syria. And we, we did it. Okay, we did it. nice. So it seems like a lot of your studies and work and, 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 and movements all converge in, into the film. How did you uh, come up with the characters? How did they, how did they come to you? And, and, and maybe how did you find <coughs> the actors? Of course, it's, it's a part of my experiences in this country, in this society, you know? These small figures, these uh, funny figures which they are in the movie, it's that. It's uh, in general they are they are they are reflecting the, the Kurdish society, you know, who is sitting there and and thinking, believing he will <laughs> he will make an aeroplane. These these things are this this simple people, the simple people who is who is not who is not want, they don't want to change the world. They want to live. They want to educate their children right. somehow yeah. with their coats, with their chickens, with their in these small houses, and they are happy somehow, you know. And we have to leave to, to leave these people to live their lives. We don't need to educate them how to hate Jewish people or to hate other people or to fight against Turks or against, against Kurds. Or this is what I, I I I wanted to say that everybody coming in this world is uh, is somehow have a pink color and need some milk, you know, <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah. And this this milk need. With the milk, need some education. There's some. They are a simple, some word, a respect to uh, to to teach these children or teach this small child to respect 
to respect the nature, to respect the neighbor, to respect the, the society, to respect the culture of other people, to the sexual of other people, the religion of other people. That's what they have to teach them and educate them. Unfortunately, in that society where I was, they were educating the, the opposite of this, you know. Mm. And, uh, and for me, it's, it's, it's a, a part of the reality. In our village, really there was a guy, there was a man who was in Ba'ath party from uh, government, and he was really collecting every single paper from, from the village, thinking that people made some political message in this paper. He was an alphabet, he couldn't read, and bringing all the time this paper to other people to read it for him. What is writing inside? Can you read it, please? I find it in this house, uh, the, the neighbor. <clears throat> and and this, is, this is somehow, it's, uh, it's my world. Somehow it was where I was living, where yeah. I was dreaming to, to, to have a nice place where, where we could yeah. cook shit and play together as a small ch children, you know? I, yeah, I, I love that yeah. scene when, when the neighbor finds the the note that contains kind of a, a coded message about his wife. It's, it's, it's brilliant. And it's, it's what I was saying in the beginning that through the, the eyes of this, this small gang of children, we experience all the, you know, the pain and the nuances of this micro and macro conflicts that make up the story. But at the same time, there's so much humor and, and yeah, and it's beautiful. It, it, it yeah, makes, yeah. that's why I was curious about the characters because uh, Shero, who's kind of the hero of the film, we look at his extraordinary face so much and he has a range of emotions that go from sadness to awe, to, 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 to love, to joy. How did you find, how did you find his um, character? How did he come to you? You mentioned it's kind of autobiographical, but um, he really carries the message of the story. How did it come to you? <clears throat> I think it's important. Um, you know, I, I say all the time, I, it's, it's, it's a classic from my side. I say, uh, I love my characters in the movie, even in documentary film or in the fiction movie. I really, I try to build a friendship with them. This, I, I say it all the time. It's a, it's a little bit, um, uh, how do you say, uh, boring now to, to, to repeat it again. But somehow, if you have your character and you, you, you build with them a friendship on the, on the basic of respect and love, you know, mm -hmm. then they will believe you. Then they will, they will take everything from you, what you are saying, what you are teaching them, how you, 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 what you want from them, you know. Then there is, there is a kind of giving and taking. And that was, that was with, with Shero exactly. It was, you know, it was, for me, it was a, a horrible thing to find a small child, six mm. years, maybe le less than six years, to play this role, to, mm. to, to look at the naked woman, which is not naked, and play that she is, she, she is, she is, she is just uh, looking at the naked woman who's, who's ba making bath, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And to find a child who was, who was, who was playing this role wasn't, wasn't very easy. And of course, we made, we, 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 we casted more than 200 childs, kids from refugee camp and then from Syria, from everywhere. And once it happened that uh, somebody from my family who interested to make movies, I told him, make me a casting in, in Syria too. And they sent me pictures of kids and they had to say only um, three words. So it was one, um, it was Rojbash, which means in Kurdish, a good day and three, ways one hung angry one very happy and one very sad wow you know okay. telling this this word and three 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 ways and just came and nobody was telling his name only in front of the camera telling me this because i couldn't go to syria to make casting in syria itself you know i made casting in kurdistan and refugee camp and then came and i saw this guy the small child that time he was five five years old okay and telling me in three ways good day and just I said, I want this guy. And uh -huh. then came, and then came that he is from my family. He is Khalil. Okay. And he's my nephew, he's my nephew. <laughs> you know, not the first nephew, the second, the second. Right. And then I, I met him. Of course, I invited him. I met him. I talked to him. And somehow I think the family played rule too, because everybody told him, You are going to, to make a movie with Mano. Mano wants to see you, you know. 
and he was he came to me he was just just full of, of, of exactly exactly and then it's working i really one thing it was very important for me when i started to work with him i didn't treat him like a diva i didn't treat him like a star somehow absolutely even when we were going somewhere to the shops or supermarkets, I was not treating him that, you know, I will buy you this and that, no way. And I told his father, he will leave his child as a child. As child. He, will, he must leave his childhood. He don't know what does it mean to play a main role in the movie, in the fiction movie, because it's imaginary world. We are coming now, the actor is coming and every, everybody will treat him very nice. They will make him a mask. They will, you know, he will be like, like a, you know, a star in our movie, but we have to treat him like a child. You right. have to play, you have to go away, this life, this is two things to life, you know. And for me, I teach him, and they said to him, this is Shero, and this is Sarhat, his name, you know. And I was talking to him, this, ah, I am Shero now, you know, we was talking together in the movie way, in the movie art, when I was looking like this. And when like this was, he was out of the movie and he was Sarhat. Then we were talking, ah, oh, Uncle Mano, I was not the Mr. Director and the, yeah, exactly. And then it's, uh, it's really his, his amazing uh, child. Manu, he was, he was, he... Yeah. We lost yeah. you for a second. Uh, you said this is Shero and what was the other side? And the other side was Sarhat, his name. Okay, okay, okay. His okay. name is a real name. And I was, <clears throat> I was doing this two life with him, you know. One, it was the, the movie life which were absolutely respect talking together, of course, other life too. But uh, then we, 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 we had these levels. We, have, we, we, we are making movie, we are just playing now the movie. And then was, we are again, we are very seriously, he was Sarhad, it was his uncle Mano, you know, living this life together. Okay. But he himself, he is very, 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 uh, very clever, really, very clever. It happens many times that, he was telling the actors their dialogues, you know, that somebody was forgetting to say, and he was just telling to them, you have to start, you have to say, uh, mm. my God, for example, you know, <laughs> and he was telling the, the actor who's, who's really was big actors, you know, famous actors. Mm -hmm. And many of them said that really we learned something from this small wow. child. Yeah, yeah. And the other characters, it's, it's, uh, I, it was very important to have, to have actors who, who, who bring something from their own life in the movie hmm. from their own story in the movie i just i will tell you a story of this movie the lady who played the, the role of rosa in the movie okay. she is act tuna tuna dvek she is actress from brazil from sao paulo okay i was three years ago in sao paulo there i i, I had a movie I showed, I showed, I showed, uh, presented the movie, and then after the movie, we went somewhere to, to to drink something, to eat something, and I met a lady, which she was, she 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 saw the movie too, and we talked together, and she told me, I am an actress, I am living in in Sao Paulo, but my father and mother left Aleppo, um, mm -hmm. sixty years ago. They were Jewish people from Syria, and you know, in that time, I was. Uh, she invited me to her theater, Tuca, in, in Sao Paulo. I saw the theater. She was playing the main role in the, in the theater, and I loved it. I, of course, I didn't understand anything because they were talking uh, <laughs> talking um, Portuguese, yeah. Portuguese, you know. But how they were, she was acting, how she was playing, I loved her. And I told her next day, I met her again, of course. She invited me to the theater. Next day, I told her, Tuna, I want you to play a role in the movie, in my movie. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly, it's your, or the... the the story of your mother, the okay. Jewish lady who had to leave Syria in 1958 and to come to Brazil and to live here, you know. And I want you, we will go back 40 or 50 years back to Syria and I will bring you and you will play the role of your mother. Right. And she, right. she didn't believe it even, you know, and she came to Kurdistan and really I, 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 she was crying. Many times she was crying there because I felt that she is, by the way, her mother living in Milano too now. She's oh, wow. she lady. Okay. She's yeah. She's I think she's about about ninety now. Okay. Uh, and 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 she was she was she was playing her role role of her mother. She that, that was that was the truth, in the play, you know. And the okay. same the other the other actor like Jalal Tawil who played the role of teacher of okay. Jai Abdo for example who was living in Los Angeles a big Syrian oh, star wow. in Arab okay. world. They somehow somehow they are. <clears throat> they have they have their opinion of this political 
political system in Syria, which they are against exactly. And this film brought them to, to, to express themselves, their human way, looking at things, you know. Wow. And that was very important. The children from, from the school, all the children, they were refugee children. They are mm -hmm. from refugee camp. For the first time in their life, they lived the refugee camp and they came with buses to us just to, to, to have this experience, you know. Wow. And that was, that was this, 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 this kind of truth, this kind of, of play, of yeah. fantasy together, you know. Yeah. And, um, and it's, it's, it's working. Then it's working, really. Yeah. Wow. It's working, it, too. It, as you speak, I'm reminded of, of an aspect that really struck me as, as I was watching, which is the amazing geographical diversity and, and density of your story, which, which seems to even be part of how you made the film, right? Even just in this last bit of conversation, you mentioned, you know, a number of countries. And I love the, the, the idea that maybe you can tell us a bit about of the many maps and, and flags of the countries that were in the film. That seems to be a way in which children are radicalized to think about their geographical belonging and which side they should be on. But for us viewers, I think it's a really, it's really instructive, right? To learn where these people are and how many, you know, the, the effect of push and pull that comes from all these different realities. Yeah. How did you come up with this idea of, of the map? Was it in, in school? Was it something that happened to you? Was it just an idea? Yes, as I told you, many things are, are from my life, which I live in them, yeah. really, which I, I had experience with them as a human being. This is one thing. The other, from the other side, Middle East, you know, um, with its geographical, with its uh, cultural um, uh, background, we, you know, these big religions, Judaism, Christians, uh, and, and Muslims, they came all from this part of this world. Mesopotamia was a place where, where, where culture and religions and, 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 and civilization was mixed together. People were living together. They were neighbor all the time. Of course, somebody came later, like Turks from some hundred years ago, they came and they start to, to arrange their own country between these nations, between Armenian, Kurds. This is the reality. Right. Now, there is a fact. Now, there are people, there are religions, there are cultures, there are um, languages, mm -hmm. and we have to live together. It's, 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 uh, it's impossible to, to, hmm. to just live there and say, I am the boss of the world. Yeah, we're only neighbors. Me, only <laughs> me, only we are the best nation. Right. You know how they wrote in the, in the, in the border. Mm, right. You know, the kids are talking Turkum Diana, which they are writing everywhere in Turkey today, that we are the best nation in the world. You are just a part of this world, you know, you are not the best. Nobody right. is the best. The best is how what we are doing for this humanity. It's not only to write somewhere. Anyway, right. and and we were neighbors. We are neighbors, and you will still will we'll neighbors together or divided it's the same we have border between us or we have not border between us we are neighbors we have to respect one each other in my own yeah. city Kamishli, i think it's a mix of all cultural we have armenian people we have assyrian people we have jewish people we had jewish people of course unfortunately there is no one single jewish people in Kamishli. we have arabs we have kurds we have other Yazidis. we have you know, and this all mixed it together, living to, they were living together. And you have to find, to find a path how these people will live together again. Mm -hmm. Because people, really, they are, they are simple. People want to live. They are concerned to, to educate their children, to, to live in peace. That's all, you know. And it, for me, it was very important to, to show it to the world that uh, what's happening is not happening because the people are bad. It's happening because somebody making a bad politic, somebody educating these people in politics, somebody, somebody is taking the freedom of people and letting, letting them to, to, to catch the religion and thinking that the religion is our freedom. Yeah. We know that there where the poverty is, religion is very 
very hard. Yeah. There were no hopes. There is religion. There is no, 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 no human rights. There is religion. Uh, you see Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, for example, Saudi Arabia years, everything was for, forbidden. Even to, to drive a bike was forbidden in Saudi Arabia. To have now they start slowly, slowly to open their world because they understand that you cannot forbid everything. Then you have only terrorists who will think that everything is forbidden now. Later, I will have 60 ladies in the paradise, and I have to kill other people to go to the paradise. You know, yeah. this 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 mentality. I want to, to to tell talk about it, to talk about it that changing this mentality is to educate people, to leave them live free how they are, to respect the other, to respect other religion. You know, and th that's even, even in the movie itself, in dramaturgy of the movie, I really, I didn't want to play a, a, a judge, you know, to, to send somebody to the death and, and, and free somebody. I say, you are bad and you are good, no way. I said all the time, we are human beings. We are making mistakes, but, but we can learn from our from our history, we can learn from from the world, you know. And that is the message of the movie. We are yeah. not coming to 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 save the world. We are we are prophets, new prophets, and this no way, no way, no. We, we but but we can change a small thing. We can change some minds in this world. And this is, I think, this is the the rule of the movie, the rule of culture in our time today. With a weapon, you can kill people. You can throw a bomb and you kill thousands of people, which the Syrian dictator regime did and he's doing now. But, 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 uh, but the situation will be worse, yeah. you know? Yeah. We will not solve anything. And that's, that's, uh, that was important for me to, to show this, 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 this mosaic of, of life in Middle East um, in the way that, that we say just please respect, please respect nothing else, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think it, it shows really nicely, you know, as you're speaking now, but also throughout the film, the fact that we see some of the children, you know, there's a, a spectrum of, of um, reactions to how they're, they're being educated by the teacher, which was one of the exactly. most fascinating characters for me. And then to have that contrast with, with between the these ideas that are inculcated and 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 meanwhile people want to play the children want to play and and and, and sleep and pull pranks on each other or watch cartoons which was a exactly. really touching and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. beautiful ending so um yeah that that explains well what we what we see thank you mano this is all um very interesting i'm glad we got a chance to to chat for a bit and to unpack the film a bit for our audience um so i want to thank you so much for being here with us today for for making this film once again and for and for taking the time to to tell us a bit about it and i also want to thank everyone for for tuning in and uh, for watching neighbors with us uh here at jfi we hope you uh, stay for more films and conversation and that you keep enjoying our program for this um, San Francisco Jewish Film Festival uh, 41 during this summer of, of 2021. So thank you, Mano. Thank you so thank much. You. <clears throat> thank you too. Thank you. And, and really, I'm sorry for my English because uh, um, just I will, I, will, I will assure you that I'm not so stupid like my English language. <laughs> That's okay. It makes no, two of in, my, in, my, <laughs> in my mother language or maybe in German language or uh, in Slovak or Czech or even in, in, in German and Kurdish or Arabic language, okay. I could speak more <laughs> open and more better and more uh, without grammatic uh, mistakes. And, and, and I hope you understand. You understood it, it, everything. It was perfect. Your, your English. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. Thank you. Of Thank course, you. said for from a non-native speaker, but I, I'm sure our audience will uh, flow Thank you. with Thank our you a lot. <laughs> with our accents. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Mano. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening and see you soon. Bye bye.